One of the things that we really wanted to improve on when releasing Gigapixel AI version 6.1 was how we recover facial details when you try to upscale a low resolution photo that contains people, whether it's a portrait photo or just a photo that has people's faces in it. And so that's why I'm really excited to go a little bit deeper into the new face recovery model. The reason why I wanna do this is because sometimes when you look at the photos shared, for example, in this update post, which I recommend taking a look at, I'll link to it in the description, um, but you can see the improvements. However, they're just static photos. And to put our money where our mouth is, what I wanted to do was record this short video, and I'm gonna use two of the photos in this article. I'm gonna use the photo uh, used for this example, and the photo used for this example and show you in real time that the improvements made, there's no faking them. These are the actual improvements. And so I have the photos here. Now I wanna illustrate what I did. This is the original photo that I downloaded uh, and it is a full resolution photo. This is as how it was uploaded by the creator. If we look at the info of the photo, the resolution uh, is 4000 by 5158. And the only thing I did for these examples was to downscale them. I just reduced the resolution because that's where Gigapixel shines is when you're trying to upscale a low resolution file. And so this photo, exact same photo, the only thing I did was I resized this one uh, to a 800 pixels on the long edge. Same thing here. The original photo is 5421 by 3050 and the downsized version is 1280 by 720. So both of them are much smaller than the original. And also if you look, here's the original photo and you can see that there um, is more detail in this person's face when you go to the downsized version, as you would imagine um, that de some of that detail is lost. Um, and then here, same thing, full resolution photo. And then when you see the uh, downscaled version, you can see that um, some of that detail is lost. So what I want to do is show you how Gigapixel works with face recovery. And again, all we're going to do is use these two photos. So let's start with this first one here. I'm going to take it and drag it onto Gigapixel AI. Now let's take a look at what's going on. I'm zoomed in at 200%. You can see at the bottom here, that's the source resolution 620 by 800. We're upscaling it by six times. This is gonna be our output resolution. Now I'm using the low resolution model here because I think it works best for these types of photos. I'm gonna go ahead and just reposition the photo. And you can see that the results are not especially good. Uh, and that's because we have face recovery turned off currently. So let's go ahead now and turn it on. And you can see just the improvements are staggering. Let me turn it off. You can see that is uh, the upscaling without the face recovery model being applied. And then we turn it on and it's, it's almost like magic. And I did exactly nothing other than turning on the face recovery uh, utility to enable the model. And I have the face recovery strength slider at 100%. This strength slider will control how much additional sharpness and blending will be applied to the areas that are being recovered in the face. And if you go back to the article on the Learning Center, you'll see the different examples of what the face recovery strength slider at zero, 50, and 100 looks like. So you'll get a better idea of how it should work. I tend to bring the strength slider to 100 just by default. And if it uh, needs to be adjusted, then I'll make adjustments from that point. All right, let's try that other photo as an example. So I'll just close this one here. And again, this is the full resolution photo, but we're gonna be working on the lower resolution version. And again, no edits were made. This was exactly presented as the photographer uploaded it. We didn't adjust any color, any tone, any effects, any sharpening. It's exactly as how it was presented by the photographer. So let me go ahead and put it into Gigapixel. And once again, you can see here is our source resolution. We're upscaling by six times. This is gonna be our output resolution and we're using the low resolution model. Now, I forgot to mention with the previous photo and this photo, I'm using the auto detect settings. So 
we're not doing this is basically letting gigapixel do its thing and again face recovery is disabled so let's go ahead and enable it and that's it i didn't even cut the video that was just me turning it on um, i'm going to turn it off again you can see that it's not especially good um, it is better than what the upscaled uh, unprocessed version of the image looks like but let's go ahead and turn it back on and you can see it's night and day uh, compared to the original and especially compared to face recovery being disabled. So again, the purpose of this video was for me to show you in real time what face recovery does, how it performs, um, how to uh, use it based on the contents of your photo. One of the things, again, that I will recommend is um, it works especially well on uh, photos with people in it that are lower resolution. I personally like the low resolution model and i also like to start uh, with the face recovery strength slider at 100 i feel like that's a great starting point and then you can take it from there and adjust it to taste so i hope this video uh, gives you more confidence and further impresses the uh, performance of the face recovery model if you don't have gigapixel ai head on over to topazlabs.com you can download a free trial try it out with your photos and see for yourself thanks a lot